Let's briefly discuss the relationship between time and frequency scaling. And here we have the square wave in the time domain, just a pulse that turns on and turns off. And we know that it has a Fourier transform that's a sync function. And just want to make the point that there's a relationship between these two in terms of scaling. So if we made this switch on and off signal, on, off, if we made that switch on and off more slowly, then our signal, let's say we made it uh, turn off at uh, half the rate, so we're making it go more slowly, if this was 2t1, minus 2t1, then this would have an effect in the frequency domain of our waveform, uh, our representation in the waveform. Now we'd have 2t1, wherever there was t1 here, we'd have 2t1. So now it goes up, I can't quite draw it here, but it would go up to 4t1. And the crossing points here would be half the original crossing points. So we would have brought our waveform in, in the frequency domain. So if we're expanding it in the one domain, we contract it in the other domain. And this is a general property of the relationship, not just for this square wave and the sync wave, but this is a good example because it shows what the crossing points are. Um, but it's a general property. And it makes sense because when you turn this on and then turn it off, in a sense, although you're keeping the square edges, you're making less restriction because there's a longer time before you need to turn it off. So you can use lower frequencies. The basic signal that adds up to make this signal, I think we can see in the way we talk about Fourier transforms, it's an addition of sine waves and cos waves at different frequencies that all add up together to make the time domain wave. And you can see here, the, in a sense, the basic cos wave is going to be at this frequency, whereas the basic wave for this waveform is at a much lower frequency, half, half the frequency. Okay, so you'll need half the bandwidth. If we wanted to make it go faster, so in digital communications you often want to make things go faster, so if we tried to switch it on and off at a higher rate, so minus T1 on 2, half the rate let's say, then in the Fourier transform would expand, and that means needing more bandwidth, twice the amount of bandwidth. So now we'd be Instead of crossing here at uh, pi on t1, it would be 2 pi on t1. 2 pi on t1. And that means that, uh, as you would expect, that you need a higher bandwidth, more bandwidth, higher frequency components, if you're trying to make your time domain signal switch on and off faster. So this is the general principle to remember is that if you compress in one domain, you expand in the other domain uh, and vice versa.